Yeah, you know, all. So um, I thought what I'd do for you is that since uh, I put up the uh, redo of the chapter that I let released a free chapter out of the book. Um, uh, many have been disappointed with the actual computer voice that I put up itself. So I don't know. I must have my crocodile Dundee voice. So I'll have to use that, won't I? Um, so let's have a look. Let me just get the chapter that I was going to give you again. The, right, so we're giving chapter 33. <laughs> 33, eh? That's quite amazing, isn't it? That it has to be 33. Uh, and it's 185. Alright, uh, bear with me, people. Alright. So, ethereal energy is explained. So, how was the energy created? Before explaining the spiritual body's energy, etc., I'll give a brief understanding on how energy created into existence. Energy itself has always been existent as electromagnetic consciousness, and through the law of free will, the energy itself, as self-aware, decided to become larger and create a way to expand itself. Energy itself can be manipulated with intent. Energy frequencies can be destroyed and manipulated. We as energy are all that ever has been and will ever be. Each transformation manifests direction of frequency consciousness was once the pure source consciousness was once the pure source before creation and through the masculine and feminine energies created through free will law, the electro and magnetic singularities combine to create the neutral source of the one. I do not agree that energy cannot be destroyed, as the positive eating the negative creates destruction to the one consciousness frequency before transformation and through self-mutilation the one sacrificing the Christ energy and able to create the hologram constructed matrix energy itself is neutral and only through the intent it can manifest forms in either way of energy frequency service to self and service to others consciousness self-aware singularity has always existed before the creation of the vibrational holographic matrix and still do after its manifestation each singularity of frequency is its own structural electromagnetic spiritual polygon that through the fields, field energies of vibration create the visual overlay of reality. With the conscious mind tricking the subconscious mind to believe that reality is physically real. When everything is layers and collectives from singularities of positive and negative energy of the one consciousness of God. Energy destroys itself the same way that physical reality, time and avatar movement is created by one dimensional frequency existing then non existing every trillionth of a nanosecond in physical reality. That overlays like an animational frame giving us an illusion of fluent movement and passing time. When reality when really it's the consciousness alternating with the conscious mind and the eyes not being able to see at the frame rate creating that physical reality to the eyes to move with motion. In reality we are nothing but frequencies of self aware consciousness energies that are balanced with positive and negative electromagnetic signatures. We, as we are all the watchers over ourselves as the electromagnetic energy driving the physical avatar. This is the reason of biblical references over the watchers. We are the watchers of spirits as being angels in symbology of art and mystic societies. Our own guardians of path for the construct of the experience in the game designed by spirit before entering. We watch ourselves to help through energy frequencies to guide the outcomes. We are the electromagnetic energy that hovers over the head connected with the one pure source of creation. Through the energy pass of the Kundalini and the endocrine system, we connect from the spiritual heart center vortex and connect through with the physical heart of the endocrine system. Then, at the, then as the same way the spiritual body fills with the energy through each chakra point, the energy fields of the human endocrine system follows the exact same suit. Rebalancing the energies inside the spiritual body is a must. Understanding energies inside the spiritual bodies is a must. Understanding to, un understanding to understand the matrix working itself. As the matrix itself is designed to make sure balance of energy centers of each energy vortex of energy pass is never at balance and always fluctuates with energies not being controlled by your center vortex for each manifestation of each frequency, making sure to manifest physical, mental, and spiritual disconnection. 
through your spiritual body energy path of each vortex you manifest the outer shell of your energy layers around you these are what we call aura energy fields these are generated by the endocrine system and the spiritual anatomy energies working with each other creating an outside barrier of energy to protect you from other frequencies of energy once understanding them, one can close off to the outside manipulation of one's own energy fields. Although not aware, many people are energy vampires and suck the energy from others through the subconscious energy of not having enough energy and through intent then break in through your aura and start to draw energy from you as if you are a battery charging them. Learning how to block the aura gaps that are created through the misknowing of energy fields, we can block those through our subconscious and repetition can train the energy fields to react on thought command. So let's talk more about energy. There is an energy that has been given many names by historic, religious and even scientific traditions. You may have heard this energy as Chi, Kai or K. Prada, spirit, life force, energy or, breath, energy or breath of life. Within the scientific community it has been called orgone, Bioplasma, the mid 19th century, odic force, and the late dark energy. The energy is primal. It is within and around everything from the smallest quantum particle to the vastness of the quantum mirrors of the consciousness of one. There is no space to what it has not already filled. Quantum physics attests to the idea that there is. In Sorry, hold up. My dog needs to go out. All right, people, sorry about that. Um, duh, 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 duh. One under, there is no space to what it has not already filled. Quantum physics attests to the idea that there's infinitesimally more, much, more, much more of this dark energy than all the physical matter in the whole quantum design of the infinite consciousness mirrors. Thanks to Albert Einstein, even though I'm be a teacher of fake to hide the real, we know that all of the manifested physical matter in all the creation is also itself energy. E equals MC square. So what is the definition of energy? Science states that all energy is work. Work is movement, activity. All activity and movement is vibrational fields. Science discovery states that everything vibrates, everything. There is no absolute zero. Absolute zero means no vibration or energy at all. Indoctrinated science has never been uh, has never been able to find the point where all vibration stops completely. Therefore, if everything vibrates, everything is consciousness energy. Everything is the one's energy. All this great potential energy in the consciousness design is in constant change, and other and other types of energy, atomic, electric, uh, magnetic, piezoelectric, gravitational, are only a few ways. Um, when I say gravitational, it's a uh, hypothetical explaining of what science is in the modern day right now, so you can get an idea of what, what's, what's been talked about. Uh, potential energy that can become active energy. Uh, physics have proven that energy is always existent and can be transformed, not created. However, energy from positive to negative must be destroyed itself from one to become another. Hence, transformation is destroying itself to become another. So as human avatars, creating new energy is impossible. But through our subconscious connection into the super consciousness, we can utilize all of the potential energy that is around us and given to us by the one in any way we choose. Everything we need to, and everything that we need and do involves energy in some way or another. We as the masses use the energy for the physical things that we do and the emotional actions that spirit creates through the energy vortexes. We have the natural ability to think and even act spiritually. Simply put, without energy, no thing would ever be existent. However, we interpret the scientific ideas about this energy or whatever we call this spiritual energy from whichever religious belief we have. We can see that because it is always present and continuously available, we should be able to connect to it directly. And we do all the time through the human energy systems of the endocrine system. The invisible ethereal energy that pervades everything and is all-encompassing and is what animates our very lives. It is responsible for our health and well-being, for every living, uh, everything living inside of all the physical existence and out, manif and out manifests itself in many different ways. We will call this energy subtle energy because that is one of the way it manifests. Subtle means present but almost on a hidden scale or hidden level, sorry. 
almost almost hidden that is almost hidden that is as when one learns how to connect to the energy through the practice and intention this life force energy can be experienced by anyone our vocabulary attests to this fact for example how many times have we said something like i've mentioned before when i walked into that room i could have cut the tension with a knife what are we meaning when we say those words well simply put we're experiencing a form of energy or kai as giving off negative vibration and feeling a sensation our bodies are picking up as transmitters of the field of energy around us that is of ha- unhappiness tension and anger now you understand that everything vibrates and everything is energy then what kind of things encompass what what kind of things encompass everything that we may not have thought of as energy first is light light itself is nothing but energy it moves and works by creating heat but we have we ever thought about colors of the physical the physical this way colors itself is our way of consciously viewing energy manifestation colors are simply vibrational frequencies of light some of the vibrations are going faster than the physical eye's frame rate can see in the ultraviolet spectrum um then i just have a electromagnetic spectrum map and show exactly what's going on there um other vibrations are resonating slower than the physical eye's can see the infrared spectrums The rainbow of the visible colors is really light that is vibrating at the speed we can see with our physical eyes perception. So understanding color is energy itself can be used for energy work. Color itself is another manifestation form of subtle energy and it does affect our spiritual energy fields. Those who are more interested in finding out more on how color vibration can work for them are encouraged to read up on color therapy. A good place to start with this is Arthur Faber Baron. Sound itself is also vibration, harmonics, resonance, tones, music are all energy and therefore can be used for work. A frequency of sound can change your energy resonating pattern to tune in with the sound. Ever listen to gangster rap and feel like you're a total gangster or listen to a sweet melody and then felt at peace? This is the frequency of energy manipulating your own energy fields with vibration. Sound therapy is one of the ways sound vibrational fields can be used to move subtle energy in a healing and helpful way. Music therapy, chanting and toning are all ver- vi- variations of using sound vibrations to also perform perform energy work with the use of intent. What else can be considered a manifestation of consciousness subtle energy? The list of everything is infinite. Food, plants, animals, humans, water, earth, air, rocks, Rocks, rocks are energy? Yes, just like anything else, rocks are also energy. Rocks vibrate at such a slow resonance that the vibration fields seem to not resonate at all. This is because the vibration is at its slowest. But again, quantum physics points out that the rocks are made of atoms and all atoms vibrate with the consciousness frequencies. Therefore, rocks, stones, etc., creation are all creations of nothing but subtle energy. This energy is within every atom of a rock. That's a lot of energy. Crystals, rocky cliff, rocky cliffs, mountains have their own vibrational frequencies. Lust each have the ability to be used utilized to affect our physical, emotional, mental and spiritual state of well-being. Getting crazier is the fact when we consider the inhabited inhabited objects like our feelings, thoughts and desires in the same class as the rest. Do our thoughts vibrate? Can our feelings move us? Do our desires work? Thoughts, emotion, desires, hopes, dreams and intentions are all manifestations of subtle conscious energy. And our our thoughts in fact our emotions vibrate at such a high frequency that they vibrate faster faster than the speed of light. The ramifications of this is unlimited. If we consider we consciously know a thought is an energy that vibrates or moves somewhere, we would have to be very careful of what we think about subconsciously as it can be manifested unknowingly. Imagine you feel angry the energy of that anger energy vibrational frequency is energizing moving somewhere or acting on some inputted code of the matrix energy fluctuation so your stomach wow now i guess we would want to consciously move that energy out of my energy fields quickly or at least transmute that energy frequency into a movement that could benefit me like swimming there thereby using an energy that could be potentially destructive to an energy that's become constructive This is only a small part of the vast scope of how kind or subtle energy plays in our lives all the time. It is all encompassing. The kind energy is 
not only not only affects us, but it itself can be directed towards consciousness frequency change. For example, when I have positive feelings toward myself, my kai is strengthened and I will be more confident and have tons more physical energy to participate in active events and enjoy, which in turn helps me feel good, good about myself, therefore spiraling my kai energy more, creating more physical energy to be able to be used. The opposite situation can occur if I project frequencies that create my energy fields to create the feeling of bad about myself. The negative thoughts and my feelings weakens one's kai energy and then one becomes less motivated to be able to function physically and less likely to succeed, which will perpetuate my bad manifestations of energy frequencies that create the bad feeling. Intent with focus transforms energy towards the directed outcome of the desire. Creating spells on someone or hexes is nothing more than intent to move energy towards the practitioner's agenda. There are no such things as spell words as words themselves of vibration or sound that then manifest a transformation of energy to create the outcome depending on how well the practitioner understands energy. Energy should never be used as service to one's own self and always used as service to others. Understanding how to manifest out the outcomes themselves through occult energy learning does not mean that you are to use it for service to self and only for the use to help others as everyone is you to begin with in the collective consciousness fields. Our subconscious mind, the thoughts and the feelings of others, the collective consciousness of mankind also affects the consciousness subtle energy. The deeper one self digs into understanding, the more we must realize that we need to become responsible for the creation of life we desire to see. Our physical, emotional, mental, spiritual health of all of us, of the collective, is our responsibility. After responsibility is the ability to be able to respond consciously with knowing what we are manifesting. When we start to think consciously about subtle energy and how all-knowing and encompassing it really is, one can then respond intellig intelligently to the choices that we need to make on an everyday basis of life. Whether it should be I take this job, throw this litter on the street in the bin, or swear because my anger is up. Oh, fuck this. Rah, 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 rah. Nah, I'm sorry, people are joking. Um, all have reactions to their, their first created action, and when aware, we can adjust to have according understanding of what exactly we are doing and what could the possible outcomes be. God, my mouth is getting dry. Um, remember that the food, the medicine, the thoughts, the media, the intentions of all of the consciousness collective of self-awareness and the amount of sunshine, the clarity of water, the freshness of the air we breathe, the emotions, the friendships, desires, recreational activities and a myriad of other energies that we allow to bring into our lives and environment truly do have a positive or negative effect on our own signature of consciousness energy fields. To have control over one's own spirit, we must understand that it is imperative we choose to live consciously and responsibly. The last thing about subtle energy I would like to talk about has to do with the fact, again, all energy is vibrational fields. As such, vibration can either be resonant or discordant. Vibration can transmit in frequencies that are fast or slow. Vibration can be high or low. How can we tell when our vibrations are manifesting fast or slow or high or low? We need to now discuss another part of our bodies that are most not aware of to really be existent. The answer to this question will be explained in the next chapter of our subtle energy body. For now, let's explain the three major energy fields of consciousness. Well, number one, first... First, we have the quantum energy fields. Today in modern society, quantum physics lead the way in bringing back the joining of biblical teachings of religion and science fields of education, combining understanding of the truth. This is the outgrowth of their work with not so far back discovering the God particle. New theories and paradigms in science, such as string theory and the multiverse theory, sound more like thoughts of philosophers and poets from the ancient days. The quantumness of the dimensional mirrors we call indoctrinated term the universe is, an, is recognized by science as a living entity of immeasurable, immeasurable intelligence, size and power. 
Reports from November 2006, an article that was published in the February 10th edition of Astrophysical Journal from the Hubble Telescope verify one of Einstein's discarded theories of dark matter. Even though he was wrong on a lot like relativity, he was correct on his energy understanding and the fact that the theory of dark matter was discarded by him makes you wonder if it was done on purpose to hide the truth and show duality law once again. E.g. Einstein's relativity law creating the fake space, Newton's law creating gravity was a hoax but sold as true teachings of indoctrination. His disregarded theories are now proven to show that he had full understanding of everything physical was created from non-physical energy. <clears throat> and now a dark matter or dark consciousness energy, we have the constant push of the new understanding evolving in the quantum energy fields. We call this vast energy field God, or more generically, the quantum energy field. The quantum field of dimensional infinite mirrors is vast, book of dimensional mirrors of consciousness collectives and endless possibilities and infinite wisdom. The source of all manifestation, creation of all existence, extending infinitely beyond human measure. The universal quantum field, source of all, or God, is the ultimate living being bringing forth and straying, con staying connected to every other living thing in existence and out. At the higher frequency of vibration form of living matter is interconnected as our particles dance and spin apart. At the lowest frequency we appear separate in the mass of our physical bodies. The energy fields projected by the human avatars, plant life, mammal constructs, the construct of earth design and the infinite mirrors of the indoctrinated term universe all together provide the interface that connects us all as one. The second field we will explain is the avatar or the human energy field. We are basically nothing but an electromagnetic beam composed of tiny particles of energy and information pulsating and spinning at a high rate of speed. At their highest frequency of vibration, these particles become further apart. At their lower frequencies, they become closer together, manifesting in density of physical avatar. Albert Einstein, a lower puppet of social education, indoctrination, had truth hidden in his revealed teachings, as I explained above. Some I agree with, some was fabricated to hide more of a sophisticated meaning of creation to subdue the population to a false sort of what reality is. The points I will make are what I consider to be the truth in his teachings. Einstein provided scientifically that energy becomes matter, and matter becomes energy according to the change in the vibrational patterns of frequency. Although this model is well accepted by mainstream science and, and physics, the Einsteinian viewpoint has been slowly introduced into the Western medical model to replace the Newtonian paradigm. The avatar of the human energy fields, HEF, is seen and proven to be existent, recorded through technology such as Krillian photography methods as varying layers of coloured light around the physical body or avatar. The layers forming the aura pulsate, the, the energetic field frequency of the condition of the physical manifested body. And there's an example below showing you um, the Krillian photography machine and uh, just showing you what it looks like right next to it. Um... <clears throat> For an example on how this works, when a speaker is passionately explaining his or her story, pale yellow light may be seen manifested around the outskirts of the body's physical outline. As he, she comes down their delivery, the yellow colour that was further away from the body outline and the outskirts may be seen closer to the outline of the avatar of him or her. When a person is enjoying optimal health, the aura will be more constant. When a person becomes weak or indoctrinated, term dies, they're all up, they're, their energy body diminishes. The human energy field forms the interface reaction with the physical cellular systems of the human endocrine system and the physical body. When the system field is in perfect synchronization and balanced in harmony, the physical manifestation of you experiences optimal health. As the particles of the one energy field dance further apart at a higher frequency, they intermingle with the particles of people and other living matter, including the earth construct itself. Thus, you may sense or feel a familiar presence in a crowded room even before you have actually seen or visually seen your friend. That explains the human fields, or HEF. Uh, and next... And at last is the earth construct field itself. The design of the construct of earth has a natural electromagnetic field that has a frequency of around 7.8 hertz, or hertz, I hate to say it. This is the well-known and documented human resonant frequency measured daily at the seismology laboratories. There is much concern now within the scientific community between scientists and the damage caused by pollution of the constructed design. 
there is also monitoring of the normal occurring the normally occurring changes in the quantum design of indoctrinated term universe. Uh, last page. When one meditates and calms their brain chatter, their brains emit alpha frequencies of seven to nine hertz. The brain, the human brain in relaxed state is the exact same frequency of vibration of the constructed earth hologram energy field. When we as humans live closer to nature, the energy of our human fields is in synchronicity with the energy fields of the earth. So they experience a more balanced and better ongoing health. And we thought the ancients living in jungles were primitive. Before the ones implanted the matrix of the electromagnetic code was designed, ancient cultures had lived in harmony with the earth itself and the daily and seasonal cycles. Technological advancement has now added tremendous levels of electromagnetic energy millions of times higher than ever before. Microwaves, x-rays, cell phones, televisions, radio frequencies, high tension wires, etc. Dr. Robert Becker is a world-renowned expert in electromagnetic fields, EMF. He quoted... At the present time, the greatest pollution element in the Earth's environment is proliferation of the EMF. In addition, the energy field of the constructed matrix we call Earth interacts with the energy fields of the celestial lights and the firmament that is, in indoctrinated terms, are referred to as the planets and constellations. Those changes then reflect on the energy fields of all living bodies, including human avatars, the energy fields, then Earth. Um, uh, both are now going to be released. Uh, they'll be released globalized within the next few weeks through all distribution channels, 39,000. After that, we um, uh, then anyone can grab it from anywhere. At the moment, the availability is mainly anywhere in the world, but you'll have to grab it from spiderwise.com, um, the, the bookstore there. I'll put a uh, direct link in the bottom of the channel so you can go straight through to it. All the UK people, um, you can now grab it. There's no problem whatsoever. If anyone needs a signed copy, get hold of me on here and that. And uh, if you've been with me right through and you, you've 